We've been tracking this election from the start, including through the state's redistricting process. Time for a breakdown to know what, uh, what to do as we start this process, which includes a new congressional seat. Allison joins us with more on that. Right, and that congressional seat, Rob, actually going to be expected to be one of the most competitive in the state. So let's go ahead and take a look at our congressional makeup. Colorado now holds eight U.S. House seats in Washington. Feels like not too long ago, the state's Independent Congressional Redistricting Commission was trying to figure out just what this map should look like. They landed on this one right here. Most of El Paso County now in this single district, Congressional District 5, currently represented by Doug Lamborn. He faces a few challengers in this primary, though. We've got Rebecca Kelty, Andrew Keaton, and State House Representative Dave Williams. Most of the other counties that were previously in this congressional district have now moved into this district, uh, District 6, uh, with a Democratic lean Pueblo County though does remain in Congressional District 3 currently held by Lauren Boebert. She does face a primary challenger from State Senator Don Corum. Three others are vying for the Democratic nomination to make it onto the ballot for that November election. And these U.S. House seats, really just the start of the ballot. Colorado also has a U.S. Senate seat up for election this year. Michael Bennett facing two challengers hoping to get the Republican nomination. And nearly every countywide office in El Paso County has a contest primary on the Republican ballot. A reminder, Colorado does allow unaffiliated voters to participate in primaries, but there are some rules here. Unless you requested a party's ballot ahead of time, you will receive both the Democratic and Republican ballots in the mail, but you can only return one ballot. If you try to vote in both primaries, your vote will not count. And also, don't forget to sign that ballot is as well. If you plan to mail your ballot back, do so by June 20th. If not, you can take your ballot to one of the many drop boxes by 7 p.m. on June 28th, Election Day, or you can vote in person at your local voting service and polling center. And as we continue to near the June 28th primary, we have your voter information and links to your local election office on our website, koaa.com.